actually, um, graduate of um, BCA or Swinburne, it was called at the time in Melbourne. And she's actually made a number of short films and she teaches uh, screen production at the moment. And this is her first uh, feature that she's made and she made it without funding. And, um, and, and as you'll see, it actually is, is very polished and it, it's almost criminal why the major festivals are not programmed this film. It just really does go to show that if you don't have funding attached, you're not going to get far because there's vested interests um, with these festivals, unfortunately. Um, it, it's a it's a quite a unique film. It's uh, it's, a, it's very uh, touching and very human and um, very nice, but it's not like sickly sentimental or anything like that. And it's also a bit kind of punky and uh, a bit surreal, and uh, so it's a really interesting uh, concoction overall. But I'll introduce Angie, she can say a couple of words about it too. What colour works best with the green? <laughs> <laughs> the green. The green. green. Okay. green. Oh, maybe the blue. Yeah, I'll go blue. Um, thank you for coming out. It's very kind that you've come considering you know, Adelaide Film Festival's on and you've chosen to come indie, which is awesome. Um, so so the, the actors knew that something was going to happen no. at some point. No. I mean, he's in the church. So no, but he... there's, in the script, it, you know, he goes there, he lights a candle oh, just for his wife and, and yeah. sits and thinks. And, okay. and then, you know, okay. um, then he hears the minister come in and that's his cue to get up. So that's how the scene was written that but, he got. Oh, okay. So he was waiting for the door to... But, but to... if all the actors knew that at some point something unexpected would happen? I just said you might, you know, I might have said it quite early to, to, in the process to get, to get that they were going to, to it, yeah, to that, then that, react and improvise the reaction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think um, um, Beck, who plays Bridget, was quite clued up for it because I said I, you know, in her script it said um, she knocks at Marlena's door and you know goes to open the handle, but she doesn't. And, I, and then we did that take, and um, mm. I said, so for this one, uh, you know, the cinematographer and I will be inside, and maybe it'd be good if you did actually go into the room, and she went, oh. mm. <laughs> <laughs> she knew that. Yeah, and I went, and she went, what's in there, Angie? And I went, oh, no, just, just be good to go in and, and, you know, maybe see what's in there. And she was like, oh. I said it would be safe, you know, you'll be okay, you know. And so, you know, she was quietly terrified before we even started, but um, yeah, that was the only one who was kind of clued on to it. I feel like that makes her scream even more worthwhile. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is an incredible nice. response. Yeah. And then, and then my daughter's in the film as well, so she did a Q&A with us, you know, the who plays Queenie, so. Yeah. So that's um, just your daughter. Yes, oh, yeah, that's oh, what I mean. It's all my wow. family, yeah. and and my partner is the provocateur who torments Paul, and you know, oh, it's wow. like yeah, yeah, no, it really is a family affair. And I shot yeah. at my sister's house, and you know, it's like yeah, it's, oh, cool. yeah, you pull everybody in. If you stood still long enough, and we were filming, Bill, you'd be in the film too. Yeah. <laughs>